Hello friends, this is Julie from Twin Stitches Designs and today I'm going to be going through a book review. I'm going to be showing you my top seven picks for knit stitch dictionaries. I know it can be a little overwhelming when you look out to a bookstore or even online at all the resources that are out there. So this is why I wanted to give this video for anybody who's wanting to get into knitwear design and isn't really 100% sure where to start. I'm going to be showing you the pros and cons, the price, and giving it a one to five star review. Our first book is 750 Knitting Stitches, the ultimate knit stitch Bible. Now this book retails for $28.99 Canadian and is by Pavilion Books. Now the pros of this book, it, it has a ton of stitches. It has over 750 of them. You start with some knit and purl textures, go into lace and cables, even has a little bit of color work in there. What I do like about this book is that each section is color coded at the top right hand corner. It is really nicely distributed throughout the book. How you even have some fun edgings. I love how the photos are clear or concise. They use very nice yarn to be able to show it off. Very good colors. Um, you can really see the stitch definition. Absolutely love that. Now, some of the cons of this is you see there's not a lot of charts. They do have a lot of written instructions, but don't include all the charts. Now, for somebody who is designing patterns, you may want to look at the charts to compare and be able to replicate that. So that would be a con in my books. Now, when we're looking at the beginning of the book, it gives you a lot of information on how to cast on, on increasing and decreasing, has a lot of great stitches. So if you are learning how to knit or wanting to learn how to knit, this is a great resource book for you. It teaches you those step by step with some photos. I do think that it's a great resource book, um, but I would give this book a four out of five. The only reason why is that there's no charts for all the patterns. I really like seeing a chart for the pattern, really like comparing it to the written instructions. So this book gets a four out of five from me. This next book is The 400 Knitting Stitches by Potter Craft. This book retails for $25.99 Canadian. I absolutely love this book. It is a great beginner book if you're wanting to learn some stitches. I love that the book at the top has all of the labels really showing you the each sections of this book. It goes from knit and purl textures all the way to cables and lace. At the beginning, you have the knitting basics, really going more in depth than our last book, showing you all the different techniques. Absolutely love it. I love also that all of the written instructions also has a charted instructions if needed. You really get everything in this book. I do wish that they would have used another color except for white to show off some variations, but it really does have everything that you're looking for. It teaches you how to knit at the beginning and shows you the basic stitches. It doesn't have as many stitches as our last one, but is a really, really great resource. At the end, you have all of the symbols that you could need. And really, you guys, this book gets a five out of five for me. It is perfect if you are wanting to begin to design and is a great price point. The next book that we have is the Vogue Knitting Ultimate Stitch Dictionary. Now, this book has over 800 stitch patterns and retails for 54 Canadian. The price point of this is very high, um, in my opinion, but it has a great hardcover. This one is a great coffee table book, a conversation piece that you can have. And I love that it really has a ton of knitting stitches. Now you'll see as well that this one does have the charts as well as the written instructions. I do love that. It has everything from knit and pearls to cables to lace to color work really all divided. I absolutely love how clear and concise this book is. Um, I do wish that the color work section was going to be a little bit bigger, but that's not their main focus. It's on all over techniques. I do love that they use different colors for the swatches. It is just an all over beautiful book. Now the cons that I have for this is the price point. You are paying 54 Canadian for this book with no patterns. Um, it can be a little pricey depending on what you would like. Now, if you're looking for one book 
to do it all for you, then I would recommend this one. If your budget isn't there, then I would recommend probably the 400 knitting stitches. I do love that it provides all different types of edging and color work, and cables and lace. This book is a beautiful resource. This book gets a four out of five from me just because of the price point. Um, it is a little bit higher, especially being Canadian. So this book is a splurge if you can. Our next book is the 250 Japanese Knitting Stitches. Now this book retails for $25.99 Canadian, and this book is not for any beginner. This is a beautiful coffee table book. It starts off with explaining how to read the book because you're using Japanese stitches, which is very different from our normal knit and purl textures and our normal stitches. I love that it starts with the symbols explaining how to read the book, how to read the charts, and looking at it. Now, at first glance, when I looked at this book, I gasped on how beautiful the stitches were. But I also gasped because it looked very complicated. For this book, I don't use it for the textures. I really look at it for inspiration and looking at these beautiful lace details and cables and how they can really play together. I would not recommend this for any beginner. Um, I would definitely look more for it for inspiration or if you're wanting to get into the Japanese knit stitches. I decided to include this book because of how beautiful it is and how much you actually get out of the book. Now, my cons for this is it's really not beginner friendly, as well as you don't get any written instructions. My other con for it is that when you look at the patterns, you really have to flip over the pages because it doesn't really have any of the instructions with the chart. So this book gets a three out of five from me because of the charts and the written instructions as well as it's a little bit harder to read than the other books. I do love at the end though you get some resources but this book still gets a three out of five from me. The next book is the 200 Feral Motif. Now this book retails for $27.99 and is by Mary Jane Mucklestone. This book is the ultimate color work book you need. If you're wanting to get into Feral, I definitely recommend picking up this book. It starts off with all of the information you would ever need about color work. It talks about the book, motifs, essential skills. It even goes into the yarn, the different types of yarns that you would need for knitting color work. The equipment, you guys, it has it all. Your gauge swatch, how to block, how to cast on, how to work, how to steek. This book is the ultimate book for color work. If you were wanting to get into it for the price, I mean, just pick it up. Even goes into color theory. It's incredible. Now, when we go into the actual charts, they are beautiful. What I would highly recommend and is to just look over all of these, to just really take it in. I love that they have different colors. I also love that this book goes so much into detail for the color work, that it includes different color charts. It goes from, if you want two colors, all the way sometimes to three to four to five colors. You can really make it your own and use this for inspiration into your own designs. You can sense in my voice how excited I am for this book because it is amazing. Now, it'll come to no surprise, this book gets a five out of five from me because of the price point and all of the details that you get. The second stitch dictionary that I have is the alternate dictionary. This one is another color work and has over 200 modern knitting motifs. Now this one has five knitting patterns included in the book. It also starts off with choosing your colors, how to hold your yarn, and has of those details on the floats, tips and tricks on color work, how to hold your tension, color dominance. I do love that it starts off the same way with all of these details that maybe we don't understand or we're wanting to get into color work. This book retails for $35.99 Canadian. Now we go into the swatches. There are tons of swatches. Compared to the other one, I do find that this one, um, they aren't as eye-catching. I do find that this one as well, there are some colors that I wouldn't personally have not put together. Um, when you're looking at the reds and blacks and right here, I do find that it's not as pleasing to the eye. 
But I do love that they include some knitting patterns. You have everything from hats and mittens to jumpers. Everything's included in this book. So I do think that it's a great value for your money if you're wanting to learn how to color work, just simple color works, and you get some patterns. But for me, this book gets a three out of five. I'm not crazy for the patterns. I don't know if I would knit them. And as well that I don't really like a lot of the charts. I would highly recommend if you want one book is the 200 Feral motif. So this book gets a three out of five. Our last book is Knitted Cable Sourcebook by Noragon. Now we all know how Noragon is a legend for cables. And this book, you guys, retails for $37.95 Canadian and has over 15 knitting patterns. From hats to full sweaters and vest, this book has it all. If you are wanting to learn how to cable, Nora Gon teaches you everything. She holds your hand through it all. You have your written instructions, how to understand cables, your symbols. She, I mean, there's no other way. She's a legend. She even goes through troubleshooting. So as you're going through this book, look at the details of it. It is beautiful. You have your cable charts, you have your written instructions, and she even includes all of the symbol charts within it. Now this book, wow. It is such a beautiful book, even for your coffee table, for other people to look into it and feel inspired. What I absolutely love is throughout the book, when you're looking at these techniques, you get the patterns. I mean, I can't gush enough over this book and how beautiful it is. It's a little pricey at $37, but you guys, you get 15 knitting patterns. If you were to buy those 15 knitting patterns at full price, you'd be paying more than that. Plus, you're getting your stitch dictionary. I mean, this book is a must-have for any knitter who is wanting to learn how to cut cable knit or who just wants the patterns. I think it's a great resource book and coffee table book. Now, if you haven't figured it out already from the tone of my voice, I'm definitely giving this book a 5 out of 5 because Nora Gunn really put everything into this book. It is the ultimate cable book. I mean... It is a cable source book. I can't go more. It is beautiful. Let me know if you agree with me on my reviews, if there are other books that you would like for me to review in the comments down below. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this fun book review and I'm planning on doing more in the future. So let me know down below what you would love to see.